you're gonna love these iPads, whether you are an Apple fan or not. This is the new iPad Pro M4 with the whole new design, new features, and number of things to love about it, like this beautiful tandem OLED display. Let's get into it. It has the new design almost since uh, 2018 and uh, I kind of like it and one of the special things about the new design is the thickness of the chassis which is good almost uh, because uh, it only give you enough thickness uh, to hold it with the case and uh, it gets a little uncomfortable when you are holding it with your hands especially if you have big hands like me and it's it wasn't that comfortable for me but it was okay and uh, the new design has a uh, camera on the top has apple pencil on the top uh, same as last model and uh, we have four speakers two on the right two on the left which is good it has good sound clarity and the buttons placed on top uh, for the volume on the top left corner and uh, on the left top i can see on the left top we have the power button uh, which is okay and good but I prefer to have my buttons uh, a little more centered uh, why because uh, it's too far away and it might be a little hard to reach especially in the 13 inch but because we have apple pencil on the top uh, we couldn't have this button centered okay let's talk about this display the display on this tablet is something called tandem OLED it has 10 to 120 hertz refresh rate it has LTPO, uh, which is uh, just beautiful. I like it. It goes up to 1000 nits of brightness, which is good. And with the OLED display, uh, I can say we have one of the best screens ever. And I couldn't find anything better than this display in the market. I should say that it has tandem OLED and also uh, this model right here. It has one terabyte of storage. So we have nano edge on this device, which means we have matte coating on the screen and it is good. But I don't know why we only have this matte option on the screen, not on the bezels. Like bezels are reflective, but the screen has matte texture to it. Uh, which is good because if you want to use your apple pencil with this device the nano edge option is a lot better when you want to design or make an illustration the apple pencil pro with the nano edge display just feels premium and just feels like a paper i like it and let's talk about pencil pro pencil pro is a nice accessory it's a new generation of apple pencils it's a nice accessory to this ipad and it only works with the new iPad Pro M4 and the new iPad Air M2 and it can't be paired with other iPads so if you want this Pencil Pro you gotta have the new iPad Air or iPad Pro but I should say this accessory has one of the best features I've ever seen in any accessories for tablets like this squeeze button it is so smart and i kind of like it because if you are using something like freeform you can get access to your pencil option or something like that in other applications just by squeezing on the pencil and it's a nice feature the haptic motor is placed at the tip of the pencil and it just works perfect and you have two shortcuts on the pencil something like this to change your pencil to eraser or something like that on other applications and you have a squeeze button which is good i like it and this haptic feedback also works when you are designing something or writing something on the screen it has paper like feel when you are writing something or designing something on the paper uh, which is good and it feels right when you are designing something on this tablet which is good one of the nice easter eggs for this pen is when you are writing something on the screen uh, you will get artificial shadows on the screen which is nice and i like this feature it is so cute i like it and also when, when you are changing your pen some to something like an eraser it will change the shadow to an eraser which is nice and about the performance uh, the performance on this ipad is too overkill our model has 16 gigabytes of ram has m4 chip in it and everything is just fast and smooth i don't know why you need this much power on an ipad but we have it one weird thing about this ipad is instead of four gigabytes of ram chips we got six gigabytes 
I don't know why, but the teardowns showed us this tablet has 18 gigabytes of RAM and the 8 gigabyte model has 12 gigabytes of RAM. And I don't know why we only capped at 8 and 16 gigabytes, but this is a thing in this tablet and I don't know why Apple is doing this, but it may be locked. And after the announcement for Apple MacBook Air M4 with the software update, we could have more RAM on our iPads. I don't know why they are doing this, but here it is. As I said, this chip for this tablet is just too overkill. And I designed one of my uh, YouTube thumbnails on this iPad. Uh, it was good experience, but the Photoshop on the iPad is too limited. And if I wanted to use some filters or some uh, options, I should have made it on my laptop and edit the rest on the iPad. Uh, which was an okay experience, but it means I need a laptop beside my iPad, which is not ideal if you want to replace people's computer with this iPad. And for the mobile games, I can say something like Call of Duty Warzone was easily playable on this device and I got 120 frames per second easily without any problem in that game and there was no problem with it. As for the Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve, I couldn't use that applications on this device but uh, they are limited too and you will get better experience on the macbook anyway and in conclusion i should say you can't replace your laptop or your desktop pc with this machine but if you are not a professional you are just a student you are just a teacher you just want to respond to microsoft teams messages slack messages respond to emails write something or design something in applications like adobe illustration or adobe photoshop you can easily buy this laptop and be happy with it but if you are a content creator like me full-time content creator you will have some problems with it and it can be perfect second device for you this is a perfect second device for me and i have a quote for this device if macbook or mac studio is a batman this device can be a robin to your macbook what do you think about the new ipad pro m4 tell us in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe